G'day and welcome back to Stitch Up and another episode of Voxel Tycoon, our Gun Barrel Highway series. There's Gun Barrel Highway here. Look at it. Lovely big main road there with a couple of lovely big bridges on it. And last episode, um, we created our very first passenger rail network and that was fantastic. Um, yeah, let's turn a few things on and see about a few things here. Um, so, first of all, I just don't know whether or not... <laughs> oh man, I just can't tell. It sounds really loud in my headphones, but I'm going to turn the, um, the main audio down a bit because I've turned this guy down. Uh, of music and I want the music but it's at 10% and it's still screaming in the headphones so I'm hoping we don't have too much um, skullduggery going on there with that. Um, in this episode we're going to be doing something um, that I think we need to do in the series to move it through the next phase because we are we are bogged down by it by many 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 trucks just millions of trucks running these big right angled highways and that's how Vauxhall Tycoon is that's part of the game but we need to transition to at least moving some goods from the production fields and into either one of the towns. And I've got a little plan to move iron into these, into this little, these little conurbations here, Mogo um, and Jarvis, um, which have merged into one giant conurbation. Well, not giant, but one joined conurbation. See, you can even see the houses are all starting to join up. So uh, jump in, please. Enjoy the stitch up intro and I'm going to see you in just a sec. Rightio. So, first of all, I'm just going to jump in and pause here. and We're going to have a bit of a look around this. So, what we're going to do is I'm thinking that rail is going to sit on the same grade. And from sea level, which is the very lowest grade, rail sitting up already at one above. So, plus one sitting on rail, right? That's where that is. And if you have a look at that, I think the road is sitting this road is sitting down on ground, on, on zero, a rail at plus one, and the gun barrel highway sits over two anyway. So so really, what we've seen here is the roads are going to go up and down, and some of the hills, I mean, I'd love this hill here too. This hill's quite nice. Um, and I don't mind, yeah, just like that, you know, if you're looking down in the town, you get to see this sort of big hill that sits over, and look, it looks over both of them as well. So that is quite nice. Um, I didn't really, I was thinking of taking the top area off it, but we're not going to do that. But we do need to do is just work out where we want the rail to come into to get into this um, and drop off. I think what we want to do is have train line come in all the way along here and I'm going to have a main a train a main train line that we can add to and uh, it's going to basically see see this was coming across here so I've put a little divider in I don't have the town city limits mod anymore but what I'm going to do here is just um, bring the train line in somewhere maybe across this highway or maybe around this highway but bring the train line in along here duck it down here but I want to spur line for a passenger train station so we've got one here but I'm thinking I have another one there and then they can both they can both use that and then we can have um, freight trains and we can have um, passenger trains and they can all be kind of near each other but we have to build towards the future as well don't we uh, then I'm thinking if the train does come into here then it needs to stay up at plus one. So we might do the train up on a grade, uh, possibly. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm concerned. I'm confused. I don't know what to do here. Uh, maybe we just keep the keep that train. Um, maybe we just keep the train going um, up at. Maybe the train can go up and down, but I think we're going to want some long train stations in here. So first of all, let's just jump in and we can borrow exactly a million pounds. So we paid this down 1.2. We paid off a million. And so we can borrow the full million there and that'd be good. We're on pause here so we can change how we go about uh, things. But what I'm thinking is with all of our trucks, if you have a look here, uh, over here, um, well, here's how we normally look at the map with the with the the, the uh, production fields up in the north. Iron ore and wood. Now, iron ore. Now, wood is getting delivered into here to the Ar Aralin. Araluan uh, wood comes into there, but that's fine. I mean, the wood has to go a long way around, which is a bit silly. We might we might just have a road coming down and into there, so the wood can go straight in. That might be the best way to do that. Um, 
I don't know. We'll think, we'll think about how we want to do that because I want it looking nice. But I'm thinking that this train line oh, has to basically come straight across. And I was going to go around the dairy, but I won't. I'm going to come straight across here and bring the train line all the way in. Um, and if he's going to be down here, then I would look at seeing... If he's here, then maybe what I want to do is just bring him into this area because this is one up and that will keep the train on the exact same level here. So that's one up right there and that will keep my train line basically going in. So if I did straight across, but from here, the train will come in this way. Yeah. And if I do that, I wonder if I cut off this. Am I cutting it off too much? Because I want to basically come up to here as well. So... I need to work out how these two cross each other. Um, but what I'm thinking is if I put in, um, and we've got a bit of money here, but I don't want to, I don't want to spend too much trying to do it. But if I come across, let me do this. Let me do, let me just try something here. I think we're going to have to just try a few things. So, so my plan is as well is to, yeah, to come across here and bring the train line in this way and come down to here. Um, so I think I think what I'm best doing is just getting that train line in first, um, and it's going to be one up. So let's do this. Let's just uh, terraform. Uh, and in fact, I'm going to unpause the game because terraforming means at least money can be coming straight in. Still. So let me just take off a bit there. Free terraforming mod still not working. Uh, I don't believe, which is no good. Um, it doesn't cost that much to do that, to terraform these, 1200, it's a bit, it's enough. Uh, one up is here, isn't it? Yeah, so we would be bringing it down to this, this road, this one here. So if I can just create that like that, then I can start to get myself a couple of bits of rail that might kind of work out all right so if i go straight here now this doesn't need to be double tracked just yet okay so if i do this this is all fairly inexpensive to do this okay uh and i'm so low that's going to be a hitting sound but i don't mind i don't mind that i don't mind it i think it's i think we've got enough room there if i put a little offshoot i mean i don't know whether an offshoot is a good idea for that um let me just do, yeah, see, that's not bad. Now, if we're doing that, what I could do then is jump out again with my with my key there um, and then just see if I just take a bit more out here and these are all flat bits, so you can just come out. Yeah, that's nice. And then from here, have you leveled out all of them? Oh, hang on, we're one down there, so we don't want to do that. Oh, we are actually one down, aren't we? Yes. Okay, but that's fine. Let's just do that. Let's just do that then. So if I want to go flatten, that'll bring a train through here. And then I can really thin things out as I go. But if I'm coming through, how many am I getting rid of there? Yeah, it's not too bad. I'm, I'm actually getting through this section quite nicely uh, and then we're over to here so if we do that uh, what I'm thinking is where is the connection to here uh, oh I have to look at it this way where was it it was here so one up is one up is here isn't it yeah one up is here actually we were looking at it yep yeah, straight across so it was next to this little mound so if I do if I go like this and say, right, here's going to be where we're going to be launching off from. And I go like this, right? First of all, if I pause, if I make a mistake here, how much would it cost me to put in a road? So it would be, say, 32,000 there. Uh, sorry, just the, not road, but 32,000 plus 8,000. Yes. Okay, so it would do that. Now, if I say that's fine, then how much is it to do a bridge? And I'm going to cut the road and I'm going to bring it in. But let's do it. Let's do it again. Let's do it like this. So if I go like this and then I go bridge and I drop down to here. Yeah, 
bridge is there 136,000 but I can't build it so it's saying 136 but I can't build it but it does me a lovely bridge um, so what we could do is um, maybe we give ourselves a little bit more room so if I put a raised a raised one what about if we do this why don't we give ourselves a little bit more room here I'm hoping this isn't gonna be a huge mistake but let's see let's go like this let's go across a bit more yeah let's go like that All right and then and then cut cut the bridge so if I cut the road uh, is it bulldoze no is it E it's a bulldoze yeah it is so if I cut it here yeah so if I cut it with a there and there yep nice and then I look at it single one uh, am I up yes I am up but if I look at this it's a single oh hang on are we if we're right there we need to be just a little bit more okay so that means we use the E key and we hit the control and we just get rid of that so control to get rid of smaller amounts uh, and we come off the edge again yep so we're covering it and then we're getting across this bit in front of that tree so let's do that then so that's the tree right in front of me so let's come here and flatten this off and give ourselves a nice landing space and it'll be there and now the train line could swing around here now that's going to block in all this area my idea is to bring all this in and then to put a see right there is to put a little uh, another public train station and so that could that could work out well with another tucked in train station there we got I know we got one here and we could do one there which would be another catchment um, let's let's see about it if I go here and just have a look at his logistics he is catching everything anyway in that town so it's no there's no need to do it um, in fact that is getting everyone in that town and this one's getting everyone in this town at the moment but the idea is to have one on one side and one on diagonally the other um, my 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 reason for not bringing this round more here is because this is a hill and I don't want to dig into the hill too much but what I probably will do is knock it down here a little bit uh, and then swing it down because I remember I have to come in on the left and go round and then round out on the right and this is where I'm going to drop my iron off so I think I've got my my little uh, my little one sorted but maybe maybe we do it up a bit maybe we keep it up if we were going up so this comes it comes down here and then this would be the plateau where I'd need to sort it out if it was up so I'm thinking the train would come in have a big station and it'll load up and what 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 it will do is if I go two up for this uh, freight network um, geez that could be good maybe I do two up on the freight network and that way he can come up here uh, it'll put a nice bigger bridge in so we come across or basically I need to build this up and we'll come across there and then but I just I'll have to I'll have to put another bridge in up here and then he comes across to here and then that way we really do get up into there and then here if I'm two up I can bring this into this section almost and it means that the road can actually connect around here with uh, with a lot of the, the land and stuff. And that's how they can get down into it. That is slightly more promising than the other one. Yeah. Okay. So let's change things. Let's line it up again. Let's do the same. So we've got 985,000 there. Uh, let's do it again. Let's do... So we line it up with this. So let's go with this and say right this is where the train's going to come in so we're just giving that it's only 5,000 to do that uh, if I come across and if I line him up um, it's going to be here to there yeah so and I will just take this guy off and have a, a clean drop we can naturalize that a bit later when, when we get, get a bit of money, money. Uh, make that a bit nicer and here again with this I don't want pylons so I want to do that as a nice little launching spot. So you'll go as well. So I just don't want pylons to be affected. So you see how small that uh, it doesn't cost that much to do that. Okay, um, and that brings us up into that line, which would be interesting. We've just you know wasted a bit of money on terraforming, but it could be a lot better. It could also mean that the road has a better chance of getting underneath. And we could do a nice little ditch for the road, a manual ditch, rather than 
um, a tunnel, which could be good. I don't mind that because only collection for the dairy or dairy, sorry, the dairy point. <laughs> collection, the, the collection is the name of the town over there in Dairy World. Um, right, okay, let's have a look at this. Let's grab rails and we're on the standard rails here. And what we were doing there is let's go out here for the end. And what we said is this. And that goes right through the middle and it goes to there. We're at zero for that. So if I go bridge, I want to drop this down to that. Right, that would do that. Now I'm thinking we should have a different type of bridge, but let's see. Uh, that's the arc. Let me try the golden one. Oh, what's this? Oh, oh, I like that. Oh, that's very industrial looking. Isn't that industrial looking? That is quite nice. Do I like that one? Mm, that is quite nice. Um, let's do the irons. Oh, this is lovely too. This is really good. I like that. How much is that one going to be? 200,000. Okay, let me just try the prices of these first and the white arts bridge. Um, so if I go here with arts bridge, yep. And it was going to be 186,000 to connect up. Okay, so that would be that at 186. Uh, a wide arc or arch, which is good. Um, it's going to be 172, so they're about 180 each. Um, the golden thingo is going to be 154, but I think I like the third one, which was the cast iron. Yeah, I do like that. We'll fix up the road around it as well, but basically this will get us in. So we're on pause here, so we can pop this down, 200,000. That is the bridge. Oh yeah, that's lovely. Look at the colour. Fantastic looking bridge. Very happy with that. And then we can work out how the trucks are going to go underneath that. But basically that is that is there. Yeah. Um, and I don't know whether the trucks can just get under it anyway, but let's see about this. What about if we do... Hmm. I mean, I want to just do this kind of... Let's just try this. Let's see if we can connect these up a la normal. And if I put this right through the middle, will that work? Nope. What about if I go down one? Uh, yeah, we could do that. So we do this. That looks even. Uh, so what I'm thinking is... Does that work? Nope. Could take uh, one more off the edge. Yeah, try that one now. That does work. Okay, let's do one. So that works. There. There. And then we go bulldoze and bulldoze and we'll fix that a bit later. But that keeps the functionality going and we've, you know, we spent 200,000 on our bridge. Um, I like it. I do like that. Right, we're going to have to terraform our way up to here because we need to get across to this landing. And so that's going to be it. So I think to get across to there, if that's going to be the case, I think what we will do is we'll do... Um, actually, you know what we could do? No, I like that. I, I like that it gets across to this bit of land. Uh, I was gonna, I was gonna delete this and get the, delete the bridge and bring it right the way across, but no, 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 we're gonna do, we're gonna do this, yep. So we're gonna come all the way up to there, and then I'm just gonna just take a bit off there. Actually, let's put one, one more on, two more on. Yep. Okay, that's nice. Uh, and I'm gonna take this down just to, uh, 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 to. Can I do that? Yeah. Just to try to make that natural looking, but it's not working, is it? Uh, that's all right. Okay. Um, yeah, that is getting there, actually. That is getting there. Okay, so this will now be connecting up to here. So what we'll do, let me do this all the way back now. A nice little back bit. And then we'll connect up to this bit. We'll do this bit out a bit. Uh, where's the voxel? So it's these two. So if I'm looking at these two here. So it's across that ridge there. And I think what we're doing here, so we're up to... Up to, is it? Yeah, up to, one, two. So with this, so there. So I need to do basically this. 
yeah, that's kind of it. But I don't think we need to come out that much, so let's do that. I think that's it. Yeah, that is it. Okay, let's continue on with this. Um, we'll get this guy to go bridge down to zero and do the lovely one. And it'll be to there. Now let me have a look at the end of it. Oh, not that one. Uh, the third one along this one. And it'll be to here. Are we at zero? We are. So we're down to here. Yeah, it's going to be there. And that's how you get off there. So you've got this funny pylon there. Nice straight off at here. And then, well, big funny pylon there as well. But that's fine. Okay, that is one big giant line. And that's not too bad. Uh, what we'll do now is we have to kind of, I think we have to play the game here because we're going to need extra income because we're going to get the trains going in. But one thing is I've got a lot of money tied up in rolling stock. So, so I'm thinking if we can bring, um, if we can bring it in, uh, actually pause and we're gonna to have to get rid of this that's a shame but what we will do though is I'll bring in let's bring in this line here just say right you're gonna come in you're gonna be all the way along there right you're gonna be right along the edge here and I think that's the height we want isn't it yes it is so if I can terraform here um flattened essentially that's enough yeah that is enough and then i just come across on my angles here uh what's happened oh yeah because we're coming across to this bit Nice. I thought we I thought we got the levels wrong then. Okay, so we come across here. Uh, now we should be able to unpause the game. And I'm going to stand speed 2 here because I need the money to come in fairly quickly. Uh, so I just need some money coming in. So let me do, ooh, do that, that, and then come right across. Okay, good. So you got that. So essentially we've now bridged all the way across to there. So we bridge that bit. Um, we basically need to get a big station in here. Now, this is where I want to know, do I do I come down or not? I don't think I do. I think I might have to come down one. Yeah, I think I might have to come down one. I don't want to go down two. I don't like going trains going down two, but I don't mind it going up one. Ah, uh, down one. Um, do I or do I just? Because uh, mm. we've essentially got to get. Uh, let's go to train stations, and I want to go into uh, here freight station and we want a freight station that's going to be uh pause this uh rotated it's going to be two platforms for now i mean it really should be three and i'm going to have a, the length of 200 i think how much is that going to cost me 110 i really want that actually three 110,000. we might as well just spend up a bit here uh, that's going to be another 40. Yeah, I think three is pretty good. Let's, let's, let's really get this built in. Maybe I'll just bring him down. He's got to be able to do a turn around at the end. So what about if we put him right here? Yeah, let's do that right next to the rail line, uh, to the road line. Yeah, I'm going to try this. Let's do this, and then hopefully I've got enough room here. I don't know if I have, but uh, I'm hoping we can have him turning. Because if I do enough there, yeah, that's not bad. 
If I come in, if I come in, yeah, that's nice. Um, let me do it right at the end there. Yeah, right at the end of that one. That's not bad. It's a not symmetrical, but it still works nicely. Um, yeah, that's not bad. And then right into here. So he doesn't have to roll in and roll out. And that way, if we can just do this guy, he goes up. Oh, he's going to have to be a fair way out. And then up to here. He goes up to, yeah, I think that's going to be it. Um, we can get rid of this. And then, oh, actually, that might not have been the best way to do that. No, that isn't the best way to do it. Okay, let's uh, let's get rid because we can, yeah, we can easily, easily just remove stuff. Um, let's leave you for the moment. In fact, let me just take that off, say here and then remove all that and then let's fix the terrain up before we want to because we definitely need nice flat terrain along here so i think we'll come up for these three yep and we'll come up and then that allows these three to get across nicely and then once they're there i want to come up and then into there so if i go here and then straight up. That's how I want that to go. Um, and get rid of you. Yep, nice. And while we're there, we can get rid of you, but not. you can still keep going along that way, which is nice. Okay, I think that works. Uh, then I just need to work out how he's going to get back. So a train is going to come in here. And essentially, let's just do that. And then straight back in. Yeah, that's not bad. Okay. Oh, you're having a little fun, are you? Yeah, because you got a 45 degree angle, which it didn't like. So if we do one train here, we won't have to worry about signaling. This is its own network. It'll come right the way along. Uh, we're at 500,000. Now I do want to be able to get the train in, and I've got to get the also get the um, get the iron ore down onto 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 uh, some stuff. So essentially. We are looking at this level here. So what I'll need to do is, let me just put it, so it's this one. Yeah. So let me grab, uh, so I remember which one it is. Just grab terraforming. This one here. And I'll flatten out that 9,000 is, is money well spent. In fact, let me flatten that out. And that one. Yeah. Because now what I should be able to do is get the train coming right along there. Um, and if I get the, if I go here and just get the same, I want to get the same one, but we don't need, it doesn't need to be, oh, three is probably pretty good. Yeah, let's do that. Rotate it. And we put that there, then we can put a turning circle at the other end, put him right on the edge here. 156. That's not bad. Oh, that looks quite good. Okay, let's put him there. Yeah, I think that's good. I think that is nice. Um, let's have one of these, just the one, and we'll have him nice, you know, nice and across. So we'll come out. Uh, we'll come right out, and then we'll just come right the way down here. Out a bit more then. Now that's not too bad. Are you staying at grade? Let's come down to this angle so he is. Ooh, okay. So here we'll need to do something different because of this. Um, so we have a nice turn. Uh, yeah, if we've got a nice turn coming across here, we, we, what we're probably best doing then is having this come in. It's just having it come in and swing along like this. Yeah, that's probably the better way of doing it. Okay, so he goes like that. We've got 300,000 left. Okay, we go back to speed two now. Uh, let's just do this guy like that. Yep. See, they're they're small amounts, really. Okay. 
Now, we need, need to put a turning circle in here, but it's got to be big enough for the, them both. But for the moment, we can get away with a, a small turning circle and then expand it later on. So if we do one like this, I like build, building into the side of the cliff too. If you've watched my previous series, that's something that I love. Oop. What I don't love is throwing money away like that. Okay, um, so let's get this guy coming up. For one, it'll work. When we get two, though, that's when we get into problems. Mm, go up a bit. Go around a bit. I want to be up a bit again. And in. Yep. Cool. Okay, so that would be that. And then this is where we get on to. So I actually need to load trains on now. And I need to work out where I'm going to have that shed. Now, I think I'm going to have it here. Because I'm going to be loading on. Yeah, I'm going to do that, actually. So if I go depots, and it's just going to be a standard depot. Narrow gauge, we want the other. Standard depot. What depot did I... Oh, hang on. Uh, depots. Can I get the LBSCR engine shed? Will that be will that be allowed? Let me just put him if I go here, that would be a really good spot to have him if I if that works. What about if I put him out? Okay, we can we can do this. So we could build this out a bit. Trying to make things look nice. <laughs> Uh, as well as be functional. Let's do that and then let's try and see if we can get him in now Engine sheds depots. Yeah, so we'll keep him up I we'll keep him up on that level Can't come across but he can go there uh, That could work Let's see if that does work, and then we'll see if that... Yeah, because it's a beautiful looking shed, and I like him sitting up as well. Um, and then we can get this going in like that. Yeah. Let me just see if that will work. Because what we're essentially saying is he comes in here, he's single tracking, he's single tracking, he's coming in this way, he'll come out here, and he'll go up and then around. Or he could come this way and go around as well. But either way, it should work. Um, so I'm going to go speed 2. Oh. And then just see if I can get my trains from here. Yeah, I can get the trains from here, which is good. Okay, I thought I had a problem there, but um, we're okay. We've got 300,000 now. And we basically need to uh, keep it going. But I'm, I'm actually thinking, thinking we've, we've got enough money. See, you've got to have, make sure you've got enough money for your projects. And you've got to have your pro projects to completion. And this includes getting the iron ore from here all the way down. And which let's get moving to keep this going. Um, but what we want to do is, so I'm going to get iron ore down into here. Uh, so let me first of all get... Uh, let me go here with this, go uh, warehouses and say I want the old brick. So what do you do? You get a loading time. Uh, we paused. So if I go old brick warehouse. I do like the old brick warehouses. They're lovely. you got the large ones though. Uh, you probably hold a lot more. I do like the old brick ones. They do look nice. So I think we'll, we'll have to challenge ourselves here. And we can put them right along that. Um, so if I do that, and you're going to be for iron ore. Right. And then how we get it across the, the road is going to be good fun. But we love that. Uh, and then over here, we do old brick here. So what I need to do is have a road network behind. And I don't mind that. So let's do... Let's do Let's get the road network in first then. Uh, if I go stations, and I want a big collection station here, so I want this to be, let's do five. Yeah, that's nice. And let's just do them straight in, a roll in, roll out variety like this. Um, and then you can see the catchments. In fact, if I do it like this, in fact, why don't I try and get the old, old brick warehouse and then that? Um, 
yeah, I think that'll be okay. Uh, I don't think I need to leave any room because let me just do uh, warehouses, the old brick, and see how many voxels he's going to be. So if I do that one, in fact, if I do this like this, he's going to be one, two, three voxels. Yeah, but his touch is one half, then one, two, three, three and a bit. So if he's like that, I want to come into the roads and put in stations, and it should remember that. Yep, so if I go here, it'll be one, two, three, and a bit. So that's where I should be able to put him. So let's try him there. Um, put him roughly, let's put him in the end here. One, two, three, and a bit. Yep, and then see if I can get that warehouse in now as well. Uh, old brick, yeah, see if I do that, now I should be able to get him in. And I think I want him to be this way anyway. So let's do that, let's put him with a little gap in the middle there, like that, and make him iron ore. And now we should be getting somewhere. Uh, this here is the road that connects in, I'm going to have to do something here and delete. Although I do need to buy the train. Uh, let me just jump out of that and delete this one, 14,000. I'm going to have to do it because, yeah, I don't like doing that at all, but I'm going to have to do it because I need the roads to come out. Okay, so I just want this to be connected in like this. 3,800. Yeah, you got a little bit of a... Actually, let's do it here. Let's do that, just connect that one up, and then say, can we connect these guys up? Yeah, we can, but even better, let's do that. Okay, let's do this one, and just see how they get in and out, that's fine, and have a nice little turning area, and just do some symmetricality like this. So I've got one, two, three, and one, two, three, and a bit. One, that's one, two, three, four, and a bit, one, two, three, and a bit is that. Yeah, so that's slightly symmetrical, hopefully. Yeah, good. Okay, well, that'll be nice. Um, and I think that's kind of good. And now if we get a train in, we should we actually should be right to go. So let's try it. Let's get, let's get a train. And we basically want... Uh, we need to work out which... We don't want the... Uh, what's unpowered? Yeah, it's just we just want the powered network in. Can we turn the unpowered off, please? Yeah, so we just got the powers in. Yep. Okay, so let's have a look here. Any cargo? Mm, no, don't worry about cargo. It's all steam trains at the moment. Uh, and let's have a look here. I kind of like the look of this guy. What he's seventy kilometers an hour. CPRR four four zero. Now he looks lovely. I don't know why, but he looks like a bit of a workhorse. Now he's under a hundred thousand, but even the most expensive is this, and he'll go at eighty kilometers an hour. This guy will go at seventy, a um, hundred tons, ninety tons. So looking at the top one versus this, um, this is lovely as well. One hundred twenty-five thousand. That is a really lovely one. Um, I think I'll get this. Yeah, I'm going to get this little fella. He's quite nice. Okay, let's get the cargo and think he's there. Um, right. And then the cargo here, not suitable for this depot. So we can only get five or seven. So we'll get we'll get seven. And we'll go uh, one. Whoop. We'll go one, two, three, four. I'm just trying to mix these guys up a bit. Uh, yeah, so that's going to be 91,000 running costs, 182,000 to bring him in. Uh, and what are we looking at in length? 89 meters. Okay, so let's just duplicate a few of these guys and just duplicate him. Yeah, that's a bit better, like that. So that's going to bring plenty in. Duplicate them. Okay. And that's going to be down on the money, though. Can we just bin this guy? 255,000. 
should be able to get that if I just go on speed three. Although the interest is going to be costing us quite a bit. Um, hmm. Oh, I like that group of four at the back. Okay, let me just get rid of one of them. Okay, there he is. He's good. Okay, so we're going to buy that one. And, okay, he's a long train. It's going to be interesting because he's probably going to go very slowly. But we're going to basically say, okay, I want a full collection here. Oh, yeah, we need to get the iron ore across as well. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I have to sell some trucks to do that. So that... And he's going to get a full unload here. So full and full collection and then full unload. And he's going to be iron ore to there for the moment. Um, and he can go... Whoop. Why? Oh god, okay. Great. Well, that's, that's handy. He's basically... Oh uh, man. Oh, he can't work on the road, on the, on the road as well. Oh, brilliant. Uh, let me come out a bit. Come in a bit. And then come out a bit. Okay, what about now? Right, you can find your way. Brilliant. There you are. So, that is quite lovely. We'll use him for the thumbnail, I think. That would be lovely. Yes, yeah, so off he goes. Um, that is our first cargo train. And I like this. I mean, we've put a lot of infrastructure in this episode. Here he goes up the hill. I love that. It comes down to grade. It's all looking quite industrial. Big, big pickup area here is quite nice. So what we need to do now is get, um, is get the product in here and stockpile in the old warehouse. So first of all, we'll need to just quickly, um, we might need to, what do you got there? bankruptcies yeah okay let me just go into here and go roots and let's have a look at the iron ore roots so iron ore here if i have a look this is a mark two truck so the mogo northwest let's get two trucks off this route yeah and uh, so that's two off the mogo northwest and let's get uh we've got let's get these three cheaper trucks that haven't been upgraded off plus another two of those guys so let's send them all to, to, to garage. garage um send to the nearest depot send to the selected depot it's going to be here i think we've only got one depot so you know it's there okay Right, let's do that. Let's do speed three and just watch these cars pile up a bit. And we'll see how much money we can raise out of that. Plus money's coming in. Because over here, if you have a look, there's this guy as well, which is quite nice. Wood beams. Now, he may go... Um, oop, there we go. So let's go speed one. So he may go, um, but I think another wood beam will come up. And then wood beam, you can just see that being built on. Because I built this here in the middle. So I can run conveyor belts down to it. Down the hill and into the train and that'd be quite lovely so if i go to sell all they'll give me 80,000 80,000 so that's quite nice okay the train is coming in the opposite direction that we want but it doesn't matter uh for the moment while well, we only have one train uh his length is okay once we upgrade him he should be pretty good but let's see about how we're going to get this up and over um i don't mind this hill as well um although if i'm going to run my conveyor belt i might just run it next to this so let's do what about if I terraform one off? Yeah, it's not costing me a lot, is it? If I do that, and here's the middle of the crest. And here's where I need to come in here. So we'll do this. Uh, I'm just going to go like that, and then like this. Okay. And then over here on the other side, I'm just going to take off a little bit like that. Now, let's put in a... Where's the conveyors? Yep, let's put in a conveyor device, and it's going to be a input. And for here, I'll put it straight off the back, but I'm going to put it like long ways, like that. Okay, and then we want the conveyor to basically come up. Uh, now, what I want the conveyor to do is come across here. Yeah, right next to the road is good. Yeah, and I want him to come up and basically get ready to go down. Okay, and then if we go tunnel, no, we want to come back a bit, take one off, 
conveyors, lay conveyor, and can we go tunnel? Yeah, and that brings him all the way down. Do you see that? Now, if I go cursor height and I go minus two, he brings him, does it bring it down even further? No, but this is not bad because it's coming down like that and I like that. Look at that, it ties in with the natural ground quite nicely. If I do that, that kind of works. And then this guy needs to come up a bit. Sorry. So, so that is, so we actually gone down too far there. Okay. That's not bad. So what we'll do here is we'll just go E and hold control, bring it up one, two. And I think we're where we need to be. So if I have a look here, I'm on a cross. In fact, I can get rid of these guys. Great. And then I should be able to come straight across there. That's nice. And so now speed three, oh, sorry, speed one. And I want to be able to do this. Yes. Okay, good. So convey is going in the right direction. Um, let's keep this guy going. And now it's going to there. Oop, it's going in the opposite direction there. Now, here we are. It's coming into this. And so I want this to be straight across. Let's go right close to that. Yeah, let's do that. And is a warehouse over here. So let's put a lovely oop, conveyor device. Uh, input, output, same thing. I want it coming off that though. Yeah, and I want to be able to put a second one in there. So let me just do, can I do that? I can. Uh, it doesn't matter which way the conveyors are going at the moment. So we'll come out a bit and then we'll come across. And then we'll go to, ooh, is the conveyor too long? Damn, convey is too long, man. Okay. Okay, we put we put one right on the end here. Um, it's one thing I don't like about Voxel Tycoon is conveyor too long. Uh, let's go with there, 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 and I want to put in a small warehouse. See, here's the money being spent. Warehouses, smallest, cheapest, and have him. What looks good. Yeah, that's nice. I like that. Just making sure that looks quite nice. Uh, I'll set it to that. Could have done auto, but I'll set it to that. That's fine. And I'll use the same conveyor device here. So I'm going to just pick any one. This one will do. And I'll go uh, here and hold the shift key. And I want to go there, which is nice. Okay, let's give ourselves a little bit of viewage and start to reverse a few conveyors. Uh, flip these guys. So coming in, a few flips, and now now we should be loading up. So a few flips there, and and now the product's coming out. So that's nice. And we'll we'll increase this so we get more. Of course, there's quite a few trucks that are coming in here for pickup. But what they'll do is we'll be able to decrease those trucks. Then we'll get the we'll get the products coming down the hill, which is lovely. I really enjoy that. It's going to come down the hill, load onto the train. The train's going to go back, and we're going to get it all sorted, which is very very nice. I think I'll leave the episode here. In between episodes, what I'll do is I'll calibrate the trucks so that these trucks and these trucks are now just collecting from here. Uh, so Mogo, uh, so so basically Mogo Northwest. In fact, um, let's do it now. Let's let's do it now actually. So let's go routes, and we'll say Iron Auto Mogo Northwest, which is those guys. So we pick any one of them, and we go. Yeah, let's guess get any one of them. So it's these guys, and we say let's edit, and we go. Yeah, the collection point is there. Uh, the waypoint is. Deleted. Yep. The drop off is here, but the collection point is not that one. It is Cape Jarvis. Yeah. Yeah. Cape Jarvis. And uh, let's let's say Cape Jarvis. Uh, collection point is not going to be that. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm just going to do some Mogo Iron Collection Point. Is that's not it? No, it's going to be at a stop in. 
because it's Mogo, but it's going to be Cape Jarvis Transfer. Oh yeah. Um, can I do it without adding the train line in? Yes, and it's going to be uh, unload full. Sorry, it's going to be load full. Uh, delete that. At a stop. So it's going to be collecting here. Load full. So it's going to be um, Cape Jarvis transfer. Loading full. But I want it to be just this line. No, you know what? Uh, so yeah, just let's just do just this line here. Uh, and then we go unloading to there, which is nice. Yep. So those guys should be live. That's them. That's the Mogos. And let's say fleet sort by route. So that's iron to Mogo. Now iron to Cape Java southeast are these guys. Uh, so even better, let's do this. And we go edit. And we don't want that collection point. We want to bin it. But we want Cape Java Southeast is the drop-off point. Uh, but we want to collect from here. Nice and short is the whole point. So a full load. Um, but I want you only using that one. Um, boop. That one. Great. Okay. So now trucks are going to start to queue here. Here they go. And that means that the train is going to have to start collecting at some point. And here's the products coming down onto the train now. So we can see the train start to fill up. I'm on speed three here, so uh, we'll see about this. But basically this is, um, let's just repay all that. Wait for this train to go, and there he goes. And the train is now off. And... Yeah, this episode we've done quite well. We've built a um, yeah, quite a quite, quite an industrial little network. Of course, the train's running in the opposite direction around the station there. Uh, let's go speed three and just watch him go across here. It'll be a nice one just to watch him roaring through here. And he is quite lovely. So I'm very happy with how that looks. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Um, it's been productive. Next episode, we'll certainly look at doing some more stuff. We need to get into back into a little bit more of the science, and we'll be doing that. Uh, don't forget to leave a comment. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Stitcher. And I look forward to seeing you in the next episode of Voxel Tycoon. Cheers.